Hello, my beautiful Taurus. You are the last of reading that I'm doing, but certainly not the least. I love Tauruses. Welcome to my channel if you are new and if you are returning. I hope you love the new setup and welcome. I'm going to be doing a Twin Flame Soul Connections in Separation reading. Probably a pick a card, pick a deck card reading. And so that will be this weekend as well for a start off for the spring equinox, for the new vibrations that are coming in. So I set up last night with all my little, I, I've, uh, since I was a kid, the fairies used to visit me as a kid. Mushrooms used to just follow me wherever I would go. Like I would, I could claim it to the earth and say, I want mushrooms to grow here. And then the next day, a bunch of mushrooms would show up. So I'm, mushrooms have been with me my whole life as well. Um, so this is uh, just some beautiful stuff I picked up for you guys. So I hope you love it. Um, yeah, I wanted to change things up and I'm going to start doing that for like you know special like summer solstice maybe we'll do some beach stuff and water stuff and we'll do winter like i'm just yeah i just feel a little bit more creative and to give you guys a little bit more ambiance so let's take a look this is a think of your person right now this reading is cardology cardamassi um this was taught to me when i was very young uh, that was uh, given to me. So this is old world reading. This is not something you're going to find anywhere. Think of your person. Masculine energy is red. Feminine energy is dark. And uh, yeah, what uh, you can also do it with uh, cards, with plain, regular cards. It's different than tarot. You can do it based on the person's appearances. If they have darker hair, lighter hair, lighter eyes, darker eyes, that aspect as well. If that uh, suits you as well. So however you think of your person, these are the energies they'll connect to the cards and they will come through. We have massive endings of old ways of looking for love. So I know in tarot, the Ten of Cups is about love. It's the opposite in the cards. It's an ending of old ways of how we believed love to be so that we can enter into new vibrations. So that's the first card that just popped out as you guys were thinking. So that sync was awesome. Let's take a look. Let's see what else. Spirit, what is going on for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? Make sure you guys take a look at your North Node. It's very important. It kind of gives you an idea of where the energies are uh, moving you on your path. Your North Node gives you an idea of your mission and your journey. And the South Node is what you're moving away from. So don't, you don't necessarily, you can look at your South Node, but North Node is very important, Okay. Also, when you're looking at these readings, look at it from your perspective, your person's perspective, and also um, the union energies of what the connection between you two. Um, and also look at all other placements because these are general. And um, just to get a bigger picture of what is going on, if you guys want to work with me, all the info is down below. I do coaching sessions where I'm able to see your blocks and give you actually channel teachings to help you on your path to leverage you to the next vibration. Let's take a look here. I'm also creating a mystery school. So that's my soul tribe membership. I'm currently teaching them to do tarot. I'm going to be, um, we're on course number three this week, which is what I'm downloading. So yeah, so lots of good stuff down there. You can email me if you have any questions. All right. Just keep in mind, guys, I do not read through email and through, uh, I only open up readings when I'm ready to actually tackle reading because when I book readings, I, I get flooded and it's a lot of energy for me. Keep in mind, I am a single mom, so I do everything on my own. Um, so yeah, make sure you subscribe and stuff because I, I will post when I'm ready to open for readings if you are interested in a reading for me. All right, let's take a look here, guys. We have, who this energy is very interesting, Taurus. I'm not gonna lie. Your masculine is definitely thinking of you a lot more than the feminine is uh, thinking of you, okay? So the, sorry, <laughs> that didn't make any sense. The, the masculine is definitely much more um, thinking of the feminine than feminine think of the masculine. This masculine is ready to come forward. I'm feeling that, okay, Taurus? This masculine is ready to bring an offer spirit is saying. So if you've been feeling your masculine feminine and you're in a good vibe, this masculine is ready, okay? There has been a time that uh, this masculine has had to heal. So uh, for some of you, this is uh, definitely, if you've been seeing the signs, this is something that's happening. This masculine is holding this really deep place of love here. Wow, two threes, guys, very powerful, okay? Christ consciousness, Buddha consciousness right here, okay? This is very high, Shiva consciousness, very high energy. This is about feminine feeling the passion of the masculine and feeling the passion in her heart and the masculine's feeling the love 
for the feminine. So it's very equal. This is very mirrored. It's very, and that's exactly what I was saying. This is uh, something that's coming together. This uh, stability, this feminine has been having a hard time in her physical world is what I'm seeing. This feminine has had a hard time with uh, building her foundation. She's a fighter though, okay? All right, Taurus, you're a fighter. Uh, you are willing to fight for building your foundation um, and you're you're willing to take anything down. This masculine, again, that 10 of hearts came up earlier, right? Is ending old ways of love. This masculine is realizing that he has to love differently and, and, is, is, and is recognizing that this feminine um, needs help, you know, and not help in a way like, not like the feminine is like, oh, whoa, sweet, help me. It's like, you know, it's like a support. She's tired. This feminine's tired. This feminine um, is exhausted. She's done a lot on her own and she's just finally like wants to share, you know, um, she wants to share the burdens with somebody, you know, and that's how life is. It's not just about happy go lucky. She wants a partner in crime, you know, she wants someone to share in the, in the parenting and the, in the bills and the family, like all of that. This feminine really wants that. And this masculine is feeling this abundant foundation, you know, that he can support her that way. He can support her in the physical world. He wants to support her in the physical world. We also have two sixes for the masculine here, which is like passion and love. So this masculine is definitely wanting to come forward here. And this feminine is passionately feeling this coming together. So if you've been feeling this energy, that Taurus, it's really strong. The center of the read is, you know, monetary wealth coming in from spirit, a new beginning, something tangible in the earth plane that's going to alleviate a lot of this pain and the foundations that were broken down. Nines are about foundations, um, building structures, temples, um, houses, um, coming together and, and becoming that, uh, you know, the planning stages of an architect, you know. Uh, creating the blueprint of what you're going to build but you know whatever their plans were before was thwarted is what i'm seeing and so this masculine feels that and so like no that had to come down and is ready to build something new with feminine look at this how they're beside each other and with the king of diamonds is wanting to build with divine feminine feminine's passionately feeling it so she knows that she wants to build here we have also have two five she wants to talk to him okay and um, <laughs> he's holding that that wealth abundance spirit is gifting him money to do this so and to come forward some of them are planning to propose i'm seeing that okay uh not for all of you but if that was something that broke this is a message for someone that's specific if there was a fight about commitment and moving it to the next level and saying i want to get married like i i want there's a certain thing that marriage in this world gives us. It gives us, you know, if we I get sick, you're allowed to come into the room with me. Or, you know, you can have, um, you know, you can sign off on papers if I can't do that. And this masculine didn't see it that way. Or something happened in regards to that. And that's, just, that's the stability that's feminine desired. Okay, that's when I say that. Um, and so that's what's happening here that um, this masculine wants to provide that for the feminine now and realizing he was a bit of an, an ass about it. He may have uh, picked somebody else here, okay, because it was just easier. He didn't have to commit and it betrayed the abundance and, and, and it affected the feminine in her physical world. It, it affected um, her own abundance for a bit. It brought up her triggers of lack and poverty and, and loss that she's lost before. And so it was a hard thing for this feminine to pull out of this. You know, the structure was taken down. And now this fem this masculine wants to come back in and rebuild this structure. He has a lot of hot love. Spirit has been guiding this masculine to say, look, you messed up, dude. Like, you need to make it right. And I see a dog with his tail between his legs, okay? And Divine Feminine knows that she can feel the end of his of his non-committal ways coming back. Like he's he's gotten his karma. She can feel that. Whatever passion that it was before, whatever she was passionately holding on to and not being able to forgive, she has this feminine has recently been able to forgive in a really deep way and has accepted things for what they are. And spirit says, like, this is why I'm bringing this together now. Wow. Taurus. Let's take a look and see what else is going on. I need a sip of water. I finished my coffee. <laughs> so, yeah, make sure you go subscribe, guys, and like if you are liking this so far. We're going to take a look and see what similarities are coming out. Um, so that's why I set this all up with my 
I love it so much. I love the energy that is bringing through. I'd love to hear your comments on it. Um, and this reading too. Let me know if this is resonating for you guys. What's going on? I love hearing your comments. I love connecting with you guys. It brings so much joy to my heart. And I love how it resonates for you. It, your support means the world to me, guys. You know, like I've had a hard time really doing these consistently, my readings, and I'm all over the place. But it's only because... I grow and change too, you know, and um, I've had to build this consistency with this and learn how to manage a lot of different things in my life. I have to be able to switch through different energies consistently, you know, and letting things flow. It's not easy. It's not easy. Um, yeah. So this uh, feminine energy here, we have the wild card. Spirit told me last moment to put this in the deck because I don't usually read the cards like this, but this is, again, the betrayal of the abundant life that they were planning together. And it made her question her own abundance and her own capabilities. And Spirit says, this Divine Feminine, you guys are really close to completing the cycle and ending that and knowing that you are abundant. So, you, so some of you are at a different part in this process. Some of you are really done and ready. but it, or, And others are very close to realizing ending that type of betrayal there of, of you know, I felt like it's almost like the the rug got pulled out from under you your home got pulled out from under you You guys may have had a home and and it was you know taken you couldn't handle the bills or whatever it was it's this monetary thing and and yeah but you've grown from that divine feminine and you really healed some deep stuff here and um you pulled yourself out of it so yeah let's take a look and see what else is going on for you guys yeah make sure you hit that like button guys i'm not seeing anything else let's see wow is that the only thing we have one more time guys usually the third time's a charm we do everything in like threes six and nines those are magical numbers if you ever work with alchemy wow this is what's coming out masculine energy really towards the feminine in love with the feminine wants to support her now I was an I was an idiot. I can't believe I did that to you. I can't believe you are a queen. You deserve a strong masculine to protect you and not to take care. It's not that women can't take care of themselves, but feminine energy falls into such a deep place of vulnerability. Like if you look at the earth, look at how we rape the earth. You know, she is the the divine feminine energy. That's our real mother, you know? And look at what we do to her. And she gives undeniably, but it's like we have to protect that feminine energy. And this mask has come into that awareness that his queen, this feminine energy, is the embodiment of divine feminine energy of the earth, you know, and is like, no, I need to protect. Why am I raping and pilgrimaging and taking from like how people take from the earth in that distorted way? Uh, I can't do that to my feminine. He's had a wake up call. All right, Divine Feminine, your masculine's had a wake-up call about how he treated you, and he's very regretful for it. He wants to come forward, and I feel like you are feeling that, okay? Um, yeah, you just keep sending your bound. This masculine's going to make it right. That's what I'm feeling. This masculine's going to make it right. That's what Spirit is saying. Oh, that was the last time, guys. That's it. That's all that's out three times. Just two, Taurus. Spirit's saying that's all that needed to come out for you. That's the least amount, but Spirit's saying that's all you have is so, because it's it's clear cut for you guys. That's what that's what Spirit's saying. Okay, Taurus, it's clear cut. We're gonna we're gonna clarify now. We clarify with the number seven. Um, that means with every time it's a seven, I flip the next one. It's a it's a magical way of doing it. Uh, alchemy that I was taught. So this is. This masculine is coming forward. This masculine wants to support you and love you. And whatever abundance that was stolen from you, Divine Feminine, you you have no idea what's about to come for you. Okay? Wow, Taurus. You got to let me know how this is. I feel there's a proposal coming. There is something coming for somebody. Something very passionate is coming. Ace of, of Clubs. Something very passionate is coming here. Okay, let's take a look. Let's clarify this wild card here, Spirit. What is the open energy that's happening for Divine Feminine? Here? Holy Trinity, okay? Holy Trinity of abundance and money and support. Spirit says, I've heard your cries. I've heard your prayers. I know that you want the support system. You've worked too hard, my queen. You've worked too hard. Spirit is bringing you your man. Your man is coming to help, to come and stand by your side. This masculine definitely feels that wants to have the abundance that comes from sexual union here this master wants sexual union commitment marriage yeah look at this wants to give to his queen 
He's going to level up and come into this placement here for a brand new beginning. Look at this masculine energy, the red. Okay, definitely in a place of, of offering something to you, Divine Feminine. All right, an offer is coming. This masculine is going to make it right. Okay, this masculine is going to make it right. This masculine is going to heal the situation and prove it to you. He's going to prove his way to you because you were betrayed by the lust, by the um, non-committal, the... Yeah, you were completely betrayed. He could have left with somebody else that was easier. You know, it was like almost like you were too much asking for too much. Like, seriously, like, I'm just asking us, like, can we not just do this together? You know, um, he didn't want to grow up, but he grew up pretty quick. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that wherever he went. He was like, damn, what did I do? I want to build now. I see the abundance in this. I want to build this now. <laughs> now, yeah, divine feminine. God has given him, purified this man, all right? Spirit has come in. He's saying spirit came in. Sevens are very spiritual numbers. Uh, spirit came in, and it was a hard change for him, but he had to look at it, and he had a wake-up call. This masculine woke up. Wow, Taurus. Wow, wow, wow. Let's take a look at the oracles and what is going on for Taurus. You guys are going to be a smaller reading, but that's the cards that came out. I can't believe only two similarities came out. That's, that's, that's rarely happened. So that means things, there's not, it's just clear cut message. He's coming back. He's ready for the commitment. He couldn't commit before Taurus, but he can commit now. All right. He's going to make it right. He's making it right. Dear mas Divine Masculine's making it right. Dear Masculine. <laughs> Dear masculine, <laughs> divine masculine's making it right. What is going on, spirit, for Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node? What is going on for Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node? So don't forget to hit the like, guys, and subscribe. I'm going to be back with an tw amazing twin flame reading whenever I'm guided to do it this weekend. It's going to be on here uh, with my new setup. And yeah, and if you like this reading, please hit the like. It really helps the karma to come back for all the energy that i put out there thank you so much guys let's see what uh energies are coming forward for taurus sun moon rising venus whoa and north node what was that what was that energy guys that flew out this there's a lot okay the things are coming out in the oracles okay the things are coming out in the oracles yeah the you guys are calling each other back into each other okay let go of control issues. So that's what flew out. Both y'all need to let go of control and allow this to unfold. Okay, divine feminine. Okay, divine masculine. This is just going to unfold as you both look. It's like these two looking at each other, you know? It's like they're seeing each other and they're ready to come back. It's like, are you going to come? I'm going to come before. Are you going to come forward? Uh, is it safe to come forward? So just know that this is, you're both knowing, if once we surrender more, this is a little bit more of surrendering that needs to happen, Taurus. But as this happens more, this union is going to come together, okay? Both of you have been calling this in, okay? You both want each other back, Okay? That's really what I'm seeing. You're releasing the X, okay? Uh, this person may have left because they thought it would be easier. So, you know, somebody may have thought said that it was going to be easier, but there's per whatever karmic energies are being released, it's being released. This masculine is going to come in a very playful, okay? This is an attraction that you can't help. You attract the romantic uh, love by enjoying this moment fully. It's, so there's something magnetic that's happening here. So it's going to be a little playful coming in, okay? And you're going to get to know each other differently this time around. You, there's going to be a different vibration. It's going to be a new talking vibration of getting to know each other at a deeper level instead of those those walls being up because this is a place of like really being vulnerable and open with each other and realizing the growth that need to happen between the two of you in order for this to happen. So that's really what what's going on here. Let's see what energies are coming in for you guys with Ostara, with the Spring Equinox. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, please, Spirit. What doors are opening up in this new energy? So it's going to take some time. Spirits, like, be playful. Be open. It's going to be, like, a step-by-step. Step. It's not, like, jumping into the sack and being like, yeah, we're back together. It's like, no. It's like learn what happened learn from the mistakes that happened learn about where the control issues are look at you know um you're going to talk and get to know each other in a deeper place uh it was a very catalyzing situation but this this masculine is going to make it right okay like wanting to make it right what energies are coming in for taurus sun moon rising venus please spirit 
and North Node. Wow. Yeah. This is a gift from God. Receiving, receive this gift from the angels, okay? Wow. Wow, guys. Okay, look at this. Starting fresh. We're starting fresh. It's like twin flame stuff, okay? We're starting a new beginning. New beginnings coming here. All right, open to love. My heart is open. So spirit is like, just be that vulnerable place with each other. Open to each other. Let go of the control. Take action. This masculine's about to take action, okay? Whoever's the masculine energy is about to take action. It's for some feminine spirit is saying you may feel the need. If it was you, because take it as it resonates. If it was you that had commitment issues and didn't want this, okay? Um, you're probably more likely in the masculine energy, but it, it, take it as it resonates. Um, you may be the one that's being pulled to action and apologize and come forward. But both of y'all are listening to your heart here. I trust the messages I receive from my heart. So spirit has been guiding this, okay? Because this is a gift from God. Receiving from the angels. Simmering, shimmering wings of angels embrace me with love. So this is really a gift that spirit's bringing a brand new beginning for you guys, okay? Whatever wasn't, all the rights are being made, all the wrongs are being made right. This is karmic justice. All the rights are being made right. The, the, this is happening, guys. All right. Spring equinox. What is going on here, spirit, for Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, and north node. What is going on with Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node. What is going on? Thank you. Thanks, guys, for being here. Don't forget, if you are new, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the twin flame reading that I'm going to be putting out. And again, if you guys can please like the video, I would so appreciate that. I love all the likes and comment. I will respond. I read as much and comment as much as I possibly can. What final messages do you have here for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? All right. Go the distance. Message in a bottle. Okay. Serendipitous moments, guys. Buy the book round and round okay so listen this is what i'm seeing here both of y'all are like this okay like the starting fresh card you're looking at each other okay <laughs> it's actually really kind of cute you know it's like i like that girl i like that boy Ooh, what's going on but you got to let go of the control issues of how this is going to play out both of you when one surrenders the other will surrender about this new beginning that's happening you're both going round and round with this Ugh. But you're feeling that, that that back and forth, that round round is about to end because a new start is coming. This is going to be by the book, a number 11, okay? This is going to be directed by spirit. This is like spirit leading the pack, okay? The the fabric of life, the wishy shio, the way that alignment happens, okay, on the planet, it has to follow the work of spirit, energies first, and then how it manifests. Anything that gets interrupted in that creates karma, right? Spirit is like, I am leading the way for divine masculine and divine feminine here, okay? You're gonna have to follow God. You're gonna have to follow the calling to keep this pure, to keep the commitment going, to keep the love real, um, because, and, and to keep opening to God's love. This is a holy sanctioned union. So this is, you know, knowing that spirit is first. You guys are gonna have to have deep conversations about spirit. So if your person wasn't open to your spirituality before, they're recognizing that they need to be open to spirituality. So this is a true vulnerable place of opening up with you, with each other. There's going to be serendipitous moments that start happening and how it's going to come together. So just allow the unfolding to happen. Don't attach to any readings or anything. Just allow and be in the vibration. Feel this so that action is going to come forward. Listening to your heart, this masculine energy is going to communicate we have a six which is a 15 here which is a six which is love which is physical manifestation uh sixes are not evil six success is not the devil number okay guys it is six protons six neutrons six electrons make up carbon carbon dating carbon of physical matter it is the physical manifestation that's alchemy okay you guys don't want to talk about magic I'll talk about magic. I can do spells and all that stuff because what I'm, no more. Join my mystery school down below. I'm going to be teaching all that stuff coming, um, especially over the summer. I'm going to be really doing some spell work and stuff. But yeah, this message in a bottle um, is really coming through. So listening to your heart, there's going to be communication. Um, and the angels are pushing both y'all to like go the distance. 
this this connection can can heal so much so go the distance do it there's so much abundance here all right taurus that is your reading so much love happy equinox don't forget to come back and um watch the twin flame soulmate in separation connection reading i'm going to be doing this weekend don't forget to like subscribe and i'm sending you so much love and take care bye